Hey, welcome back. Man, I got a great show for you today. You know that there are a whole lot of hamlets and villages and towns all through Westchester and Putnam County. Somebody has to be the guy who keeps watch on all of these places. Well, there's one place and one guy that you have got to meet. My name is Vin DeQuino. His name is Matt Slater. Matt, Evan. congratulations, man. You won an election a couple months ago. It did, yep. So this is new. Very. But you have been a busy boy. Yeah, it's been a busy six weeks. Yeah. Uh, your platform was very interesting. There were some things that you really wanted the people of Yorktown to know and understand. Mm -hmm. What are those, Matt? Well, I, I think it started really with innovation and modernization of how our government operates. Uh, you know, we're seeing already uh, in the last six weeks, we've already uh, put uh, resolutions forward to update our website for the first time since 2013. Oh, uh, so it's uh, it's rather obsolete to say the least. <laughs> and uh, we're trying to put uh, more tools for people, uh, residents, prospective residents, businesses, prospective businesses, uh, make it easier for them to get information and do business with their town. And in modern age, it's all it's all on your phone, it's all on your computer, and we're trying to do the same for the town of Yorktown and our residents. So, Matt, the buck stops here? The buck stops at my desk, <laughs> that's for sure. I hear you. <laughs> so, you have a lot of things to keep up with. Yes. Uh, Yorktown has a lot of things to be proud of. Yes. Uh, There's so many different things. It is a community mm -hmm. in so many ways. And there's people working with people. Absolutely. One of the ways they keep that happening is by having monthly meetings. Mm -hmm. And you invite the residents to come in and maybe give their gripes, maybe give their compliments. Uh, where are they? When are they? And how long are they? Yeah, sure. So we meet every week, every Tuesday night at Yorktown Town Hall mm. off of Underhill Avenue, uh, which is the corner of Underhill and Route 118. Uh, we um, rotate, so every other week is what we call a regular town board meeting, and we have a courtesy of the floor session. Uh, anyone can come to the courtesy of the floor. You yeah, get three minutes. I, I was there talking about my books. Yeah, yeah. It's you great. Get, yeah, great. you get three minutes. You can talk about whatever yeah. you want. Uh, hopefully, we get more compliments than, than, <laughs> yeah, than complaints. Really. Uh, We've got a lot of tough questions. You get those questions. That's what people we're there for. Are on the ball, man. Yeah, that's it. That's yep. it. And then the following week, um, it's a call a work session. So there's no uh, comment, no public comment at those meetings. That's really where we get to that's roll up our sleeves and we bring about. different proposals, ideas. Um, policy suggestions, projects, right to the town board, and it's where we sit and dissect together and we collaborate together uh, and we try to move things forward. Hmm. What's your hardest challenge? Hardest challenge? Mm. Oh, man. Well, in the first Getting six elected weeks, first, well, that, was, that was definitely the hardest <laughs> challenge, so we overcame the first one. Um, but I, I think the second hardest challenge that I, I think I've identified is communication. And, and there's, as you said earlier, our town is incredible. It is. And there's things going on. I mean, I live in Mahopac, and I, I go down there because there's so many things to offer. Yeah, but but majority of people don't even realize all the things that we have to no. offer. Yeah, because it's, you know, because it works, and it's natural, Yeah. and it flows. Yeah. Uh, that's a good thing. So, you know, we're trying to improve our communication capabilities. Uh, we're trying to be much more proactive. And, and also, you know, in our outreach, highlight the things for our town to be proud of for itself. Uh, yep. You know, so next week we're going to be uh, kicking off um, some of our Maple Weekends. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, with Bry Hart uh, over at uh, uh, White Oak uh, Farm. Uh, he's actually the largest commercial producer of maple syrup in the county. Really? And so he does a full... I didn't even he, know that. Yeah, and he does a full weekend uh, starting next weekend tapping all of his trees and you can see how the whole process, how it goes from the tree, tapping the tree, uh, all the way through until you get your maple syrup and he's got you know, rather infamous, famous, excuse me, maple right, now syrup Now you're going to end confusion for our readers. Is your town and Yorktown Heights the same place? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yorktown and Yorktown Heights are and the same place. And you just gave it two names to confuse everybody. I did. I, well, Yorktown, you know, so this is the great thing about Yorktown is Yorktown's got a number of business hamlets. Right. So you have the town. It's, it's very much like, like this town. You have, it's the town of Carmel, yeah. but you also have Mahopac. So we have the town of Yorktown, we've got Mohegan Lake, we've got Shrub Oak, we've got Jefferson Valley. Yeah, because you go off past the Taconic. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we go all the way to Cortland. Yeah. Right, right to Lexington yeah. Avenue. I was our, very surprised to forward. find, I, I was looking up some business, and I said, Yorktown. Yeah. 
People don't realize on the other how side large of the world over here. Yeah. But it's not really. It's weird. It stretches all the way out. Well, just think about how far south you can go. When you cross over the Taconic, you're still in Yorktown. It might wow. say an Austining, Austining <laughs> exit uh, for the Taconic, but, but you are still in the town of Yorktown. Wow. And that's where, you know, people don't even think about it or realize it, but yeah. that's when IBM is. And when you know I, what, you know what's over the, at IBM? And? The Watson supercomputer. Oh, is that right? That one Jeopardy. No kidding. That's where Watson lives, no right kidding. in Yorktown. And most people don't even realize wow, it. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. And new businesses. Mm -hmm. Lowe's now? Yeah, we have Lowe's uh, now. The 202 corridor yeah, is really Lowe's starting to blossom. Well. Yeah. Do we have new prospects? We've got a number of, number of new but prospects. You're not going to tell me. Uh, not just yet. <laughs> I'll come back when we cut the ribbon, but Such don't a worry. <laughs> but it's, I can tell you that there's a, you know, the future for Yorktown is right in front of us. Yeah, and, and we're really on the cusp of some really great things. Um, and I'm just so proud to be a part of it and be yeah. able to lead it. And, uh, and so I'll be back. Don't you worry. And we'll be talking yeah, about what some I of those things that's are. That's a good thing. Absolutely. That's, yeah. thing. Uh, that's something I want to say. Uh, this is an open invitation. Great. The one thing about your position is it changes every six months. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Feels all, like it. <laughs> so many different things going on. Yeah. Talk to me about some of the things that families mm. can be involved in. Yeah. I know the Grange Fair. It's and great. This, uh, the the uh, fire. Fireman's uh, Carnival. Uh, Carnival. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Fireman's Carnival. So listen, I've got a four-year-old and a, and a five-month-old. Uh, oh, wow. So when it comes to, you know, family-friendly events, I'm on the lookout yeah. every weekend because that's that's what us parents yeah. with small kids try to do. Uh, if I had to give everyone one thing to go see, go to the Yorktown stage. Uh, Yorktown oh, stage. Yeah. And it's been there forever. And we're, we're doing a lot of work with the principals of, uh, of the Yorktown stage. We really wanted to, to improve the experience. And, and I think it's one of those gems in Yorktown that's, yeah. that people know about, but they don't really know about. Yeah, and, you're right. And I took my son to see they had Pinocchio oh, um, wow. about a week ago. And it was built for kids, 45 minutes, no wow. intermission. And it was meant for kids like my four-year-old. And he's been singing Buongiorno every morning since. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and so our next one is coming up. It's The Lion King. Wow. All kids. The biggie. All kids. There's not a single adult actor involved. It's all children. Just to so give you an exciting. idea of how long that's been going on, mm -hmm. my 12-year-old son auditioned for a play there. He's 40. <laughs> <laughs> so it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, of course, yeah. he... It was a little bit off key. It yeah, didn't get yeah. the part, but but he loved it. He loved the experience. The, the talent is really second the to none. Place was filled with kids. Yeah, excited, given an opportunity to be who they are. Well, think about it. You know, from my standpoint, I can bring my four-year-old. You know, five minutes into town, support my my local, uh, uh, you know, Yorktown stage and and the local actors. Versus spending how many hundreds of dollars to go to Broadway, yep. which is a much longer show. You don't, you know. You know how it is when you have a small one. You never, it's yep, kind of a I wild card. You. you don't know what you're dealing with that day. And right above the theater, in my other life, I was an SAT tutor. Okay. In one of those little classrooms. Yeah. And kids from your town came, and I tutored the SATs yeah. because you have a community center. Tell me about some of the things in that community center. So we have the so our community center is now officially the Albert A. Capellini Community Center. Oh, okay. Yep, after uh, uh, Al Capellini, former supervisor, uh, who unfortunately passed, but was a great, great man, a, a good wow. friend, uh, and mentor of mine actually. And uh, and so the community center, I, I was there today. We had um, a, we have a great seniors program. Our nutrition yeah. center is second to none. Historical have, society. Our, we have a museum. Most that's the other thing. People don't yeah. realize that Yorktown has its own museum. No, and it's up and it's upstairs in, in and library. Isn't there a library? The in John there, C Hart Library is celebrating its 100th year this year. Wow. 100 years, and that actually the the where the library is that um, structure dates back to the Civil War. And yeah. so just, you know, that's one of the great things about our town also is just the, the historical significance. Yeah. Um, people don't realize that you had Major John Andre, yeah. Rochambeau. You know, you had a number of, when it came to during the Revolutionary War, same, same here in Carmel. Yeah, oh yeah. There's but you talk about some of the major players Civil during Eddington. the Revolution. Civil Yeah, there you my, go. My girl. That's it. <laughs> but when you talk about the major players during the Revolutionary War, uh, many of them crossed right into Yorktown. And so uh, last night, we had a town board meeting last night, speaking of which, um, and uh, one of our work session items, our Landmarks and Preservation Commission um, is going to be kicking off the RW250 committee, the Revolutionary War. Oh, yes. Because it's the yes. 250th anniversary. In, With uh, uh, Connie Kehoe. That's correct. Yeah, Connie and I taught together in Arts League. Come on. Years ago. That's hysterical. I mean, really years ago. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we were good friends, and I've done several 
things for her yeah. program. It's an exciting. She's a she, well, man. She is a battery get, operated. You know, she's doing it for the entire county of Westchester. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So we're she very excited busy about this all the time. Yeah, yeah. She uh, she's been incredible. She's uh, even though she's an Irvington resident, mm -hmm. she's all over Westchester. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Powerful woman. Yep. Has such a passion for history. Yeah. And you know, I've said it a thousand times. If we don't teach the kids of today about their yesterday, mm -hmm. we're stealing a piece of their tomorrow. Absolutely. And I mean, that's really where it's coming from. I agree. There's so many great people who came before us. Yeah. And we can learn from. Totally. Uh, and one yeah. of the ways that we're trying to do that in Yorktown, uh, you know, there's two things I promise I would do. Uh, we would we would actually establish a veterans advisory committee for the town of Yorktown, uh, which uh, which was done in our at our first town board meeting, and the second thing that uh, I wanted to do was was make us a certified climate smart communities task force and, and emerge as a local leader in combating local clim uh, climate change, and our veterans committee is being tasked with a living history program because we have so many incredible stories, so many incredible individuals from our community who've served our country. Um, that we're trying to capture yeah. as many primary accounts as we can. Yeah. And, uh, and so I think that's it's something that we're hopefully going to partner with our school districts on. Um, our first meeting is later this month uh, with, wow. the, with the committee. Excellent. And it's, you know, it's a very exciting, uh, exciting initiative, and I know our veterans are very excited to be and involved in it. One thing I'm right on the forefront of is, and I didn't even know they had Town Poet Laureate, <laughs> but your Town Poet Laureate is a member of the Mahopak Writers Group. Mm -hmm. Mahopak Writers Group, uh, every open mic everywhere, mm -hmm. the Veterans Writing Group. Yep. I mean, this guy is everywhere all the time. And I give Yorktown so much credit because you're not forgetting the arts, you know? And it's important that we don't let people lose a sense of music, Absolutely. art, uh, the schools, schools are awesome. Some great schools. We have nationally recognized school districts. Nationally recognized. I don't want to say it because I will. I will, sure. and I'm proud yeah. of it. Good. You know, and specifically, the, you know, the, so it's, we, have, we, we used have, to call them Blue Ribbon Schools. So Yorktown High School is a blue was named a national Blue Ribbon School, uh, which which we're very proud of. That you walk through Yorktown High School right now, and there's banners everywhere, including uh, yeah. U.S. U.S. News and Reports. Uh, wow. They've been recognized by them as well, and there's one more that the superintendents asked me to. Wait a little bit on, so but oh, there's more okay. to come. Oh, we can't more tell. to come. More to come. But here's the interesting thing about Yorktown, though. So you live in the town of Yorktown. There's actually four school districts. People don't realize that. Oh, is that right? Yeah, four districts. Have four school districts. You wow. have Lakeland and Yorktown, but on yeah. the south side of town, over by IBM, you also have Ossining and wow. Croton. Wow. And so and those we, are all basic Yorktown. You have districts? Yorktown residents that do go to those school yeah, districts, school depending wow. on where they live. Yeah. Yeah, wow. so, so we're very proud of our, our school districts, and, and I think that's one of the greatest attractions that we have for, uh, we're seeing a lot of young families come to Yorktown right now. Now, are you a, a Yorktown native? I am. You are. Uh, raised in Yorktown, raised in my family in Yorktown. I see politicians who grow up in an area to say, you know, someday I want to run this town. Yeah, well, I didn't grow up thinking that, but <laughs> no, <laughs> now I am. But, <laughs> but you did eventually end up there. Well, that's it. And that means a lot. Yeah. You know, uh, I grew up upstate mm -hmm. a lot of my friends flew town man yeah, uh, yeah. and including me well I, a lot of my friends flew town flew our town too but the exciting thing for me is all my friends came back oh that's great and it, it was completely so like it was completely uncoordinated unplanned mm -hmm. and and now my high school buddies and my best friends they're all within five minutes yeah. of me all living in the same town but yeah. speaking of speaking of, of, of that, I went back to the Yorktown High School for the first time mm -hmm. uh, as as town supervisor, and I was walking I was being walking through the halls by uh, by our school superintendent, Dr. Hatter, who also lives in Yorktown, great guy, and I ran into one of my old soccer coaches. Oh wow! And he goes, he asks, "What are you doing here?" <laughs> and he, he actually goes, he goes, "You were here on an interview." <laughs> he thought I was there for, as, a, as a teacher. I was like, I go, "No, I, I actually run the town now." <laughs> so wild. yeah, it was a, it was a fun experience to see so many of my old teachers. And is this your first political office? First political office. Wow. Yeah, I've never held political office before this. Wow. Yeah. That's so. uh, must be s sometimes scary. Uh, I, I equate it to skydiving. 
<laughs> you know, well, you a, don't know where you're going to land. You don't know where you're going to land, and, and you think it's a great idea until you're looking out the door about to jump. But when you jump, it's an exhilarating experience, and, and you know, the campaign itself was an exhilarating experience. And, uh, and at the end of the day, it's just about doing the right thing and helping people. And that's what, you know, I tell my staff every single day. Give me, give them some shout outs. Who are some of the people that are Yorktown highlights? People who do things for Yorktown that are exemplary. Oh, well, that's hard to pick Tough. just a few. Yeah, yeah. You're putting me on the spot. Uh, I know. You're putting me on the spot. But you know, are, are, I, I would start with, you know, I'll, I spoke with her today, Coach Sorensen from the Lakeland okay. High School. Right. Uh, Been Lake, a coach for a long time. Ten state championships. Oh. Ten. Speaks for itself. Speaks for itself. And uh, and that's something that now, you... Which sport is that? Field hockey. Field hockey. Yeah. Wow. Ten yeah. field I mean, hockey state championships. It's pretty including, hard. Including 2019. Yeah, it's pretty hard not to go to the sports section of mm -hmm. the newspaper and see some Yorktown yeah, team in great. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah but we have other great people. You know, I think of uh, I think of Trissy Kushner um, and Liz Talbert. They run a great organization that I always love to talk about called the uh, Yorktown Alliance for Safe Kids. Um, oh, and, and they do a lot of great work. Just the title is impressive. They do a lot of great work in our community. Uh, folks Keep the on kids off the streets. Off the streets. Keep them busy. Mental health, uh, substance abuse, and we all know how important that is. Oh, yeah. Uh, and they've been around for 15 years in our community. Wow, that's and, great. And uh, they're doing a program, um, I believe it's March 11th, the Save a Life program. Mm -hmm. And it's a full day at the Yorktown High School. It's a Saturday. They'll get three, 400 high schoolers that show up, and it's wow. all about mental health and how, different workshops. How it's many great. people are in Yorktown? Uh, the last census had us at 36,000. 36,000? Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. About the same size of Carmel. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's a good number. Yeah, it's not small. It's not small. Uh, talk to me about, uh, I forgot what I was going to say, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, talk to me about some of... Oh, I know. I was going to talk to you about the Historical Society. Yes, please. That it's actually a museum. We have a museum. And you in can the go in there and see Native American uh, Correct. exhibits. Yeah. Uh, that's up, what, third floor? Third floor of, of the uh, Albert Capolini Community Center. Yeah. And there's some elderly women uh, who yeah. run it. Yeah, I was and with they're them like, today. You know, they take you by the arm and they was, bring you I in. I was with them they, today. They fill you in. We actually now have, um, there's actually a train uh, exhibit there now. Wow. Which is, which is cool um, and something that we're trying to talk about getting a, a little more exposure on. Um, and, you know, the other thing that we're working on in town, uh, we, have a we have railroad park. And um, and we have the train old train station. You're, you know, we don't have a train in Yorktown, neither does neither, neither yeah. this problem. we used to. And the I train know. station I that we had in, too. and the train station we had in Yorktown Heights is still there. And actually, right now, the town is reinvesting in, in the structure so that it's going to become um, uh, an information center and, con oh, and, and concession stand. So it's, I it's know. pretty exciting. We were talking about John McMullen, and I know he's very much involved in Terrytown. Mm -hmm where they took one of the train stations and they turned it into their like poetry uh, headquarters. Yeah. And they have great, you know, I don't know, some monthly or weekly things where people can go and gather and the atmosphere is wonderful. Mm -hmm. You know, and you're, what you're doing is you're taking history and putting it back. Yeah. You know, and that's what you need to do. Yeah. Well, you know, and I, I just love having these conversations with people from our town. You know, I think of people like Roger Thompson, who's the longest serving member of our volunteer fire department over wow. 70 years. I actually took him on honor flight. I don't know if you know of honor flight for our veterans. Uh, we went down to DC yeah. uh, this past October. Um, but when you, when you go talk to folks like, like Roger or Mike Dabowski or anyone who's been around town, they tell you that you just always learn something different about your town. You think you know it yeah. all. And then you have this conversation. No. So the thing I learned this week is across the street from town hall uh, at the Soundview Prep, uh, the Soundview Preparatory School, they have underground railroads from dating back to the Civil War. That right? That's that white building that's right on that corner yes, across from the Uruguay. Correct. Building. Yeah. yeah. And they have that's the actual building. tunnels. So that's that a real utilized. working school. Uh, well, it, it was until January 31st. And, oh, no. And unfortunately, they, they've uh, fell into some tough financial times, uh, and so they're no longer uh, operating oh, as a preparatory so. school. Right. But, you know, it's up to us to preserve. That's that right. building and the history that's, right. that's underneath that building because if you can wow. show and bring if you can bring a class of students yeah. Yeah. you know you hear about the underground railroad but let me show you the underground railroad yeah that is something that i get chills just thinking i've been about. taking mahopa kids on civil ludington tours for years mm -hmm. and you could talk about civil ludington to your blue in the face but when you take a kid and right. you say this is where she lived 
You got to show it. This is the mill. This is where she lived. That's right. George Washington most likely stood right where you are yeah. uh, to talk to her father, the colonel. And it's a whole different thing. Yeah. And one room schoolhouses. You know, and they were absolutely fascinated at the idea where the entire school would rent 12 it's, kids. Right. Yeah. It's one room. Yeah. You know, you can read one about room. it, you can see a picture of it, but when you're yeah. standing there, you just, you, just feel, you just feel the significance and, and they just learn so much more. So, yeah, so, you know, historically, Yorktown has just so, such a rich history. And, uh, and that's one of the things with the RW250 uh, committee yeah, that we're going to be, gonna be, yeah, that's gonna very, be amazing. very excited to be highlighting a lot of that history and bring it back to life and, and use it also as a, as a tourist attraction. And, you know, we're digitizing. Yeah. Uh, we're trying to actually do a digital um, heritage trail, which is something that we're excited about, too. Our planning department's involved in that. Right. And, and leveraging our historical significance to attract people to our town, to support our local town. And, you know, we're, it's, it's a great initiative that we're very excited yeah, about. Yeah, it is. So how often do you get to go out and about? By myself? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you... There's no such thing anymore. Are you stuck in that office most of the time? Uh, no. I think it's, you know, you listen, you make it, it's one of those things where you, you make what you want of it. And yeah. if you want to be there, you're there. If you don't want to be there, you don't have to be there. If you only want to show up for town board meetings, you can only show up for ta town board meetings. I, my thing is, I'm, I'm here to work. I roll up my sleeves yeah. every day. You need to be visible. I'm, I'm there every day. Know and, that you're working for them. Yeah, yeah. But you go back to one of the challenges. I learned that uh, grocery shopping now takes three hours. Uh, getting a gallon of milk uh, <laughs> takes about an hour. Um, I can't go to the gym anymore unless I have a hat and a hood up because uh, it takes me about three hours to get through that. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. So, you yeah, know, but that's, that's part of it. You're going to meet it's a lot good. of people. Yeah, well, that's uh, the best part. Yeah. And I love the people of our town. They're, and they're now really there's great. been a big changeover. The infamous Turcos is Uncle now G's. Uncle G's. Uncle G's. Uh, yeah, uh, Uncle Giuseppe. Yeah. Uh, great store. It's fantastic. Wonderful things. Yeah. You know, homemade. Th I mean, things that I had as a kid. Yeah. I had lunch there yesterday. Yeah. And it's still, it's still, great. you know, a great, a great place for our town. Yep. A lot of people still go. Um, now, I don't think they miss a, a step at all. Sore topic, but are we looking at the space that Kmart was in? Uh, now it's, yes. Yeah. Period. And period. Great. I've made it perfectly clear. The property owners that they will—they've heard from me weekly since I've gotten in. Great. Now it's just a sport for me because yep. you want to talk about the heart of downtown Yorktown yeah, Heights. It really is. That's it. And and the last time we spoke, I told them to knock everything down. That didn't go over very well. Yeah. But uh, you have to reimagine the space. I know. And, and big I box know. stores aren't what they weren't. We were. just went through a change in Mahopac mm -hmm. because we had a Kmart. Right. And the Kmart went out, and now we have Ocean uh, Ocean Lot. Ocean Lake? Coming in. Okay. Uh, so they'll be coming in this spring. Yeah. Uh, deal's done, I guess. That's great. And it's good. You don't, you don't know what you're missing until you miss it. Exactly. You know, I run in to get a oil for the car. I run in to go get a beach chair. I run in to go get a frying pan. Yep. And then all of a sudden, there's Where no do you place go? to go. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. it. So, you know, I mean, you know, there's a lot of potential. And when you talk about making a, a walkable downtown, which is something that we're trying desperately to do, uh, we're looking at complete streets legislation um, to make it uh, more bike friendly, pedestrian friendly, safer nice. for folks to get around uh, in other modes than cars. Well, plus you have the bike trail that goes right through Yorktown. Absolutely, yeah, and to encourage healthy living. I mean, that's all. That's all we're talking about. Actually, the other, the other thing I want to, you know, I don't know if you know this, but Yorktown's got over 40 miles of nature trails. Really? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. It's like 40 that is miles of between the Yorktown trail. stage. And this is like the second best, keeper, best kept secret of Yorktown, 40 miles of nature trails. And we're part of, uh, you know, the New York, New Jersey Trail Conference. And we've got uh, Jane and Walt Daniels who have literally been trailblazers <laughs> wow. uh, in, in this aspect and, and have done an amazing job. They took me and my son on a, on a hike in the, in the fall and uh, we had a blast. It yeah. was awesome. It yeah. was great. I mean, it's a, it is a beautiful place yeah. in the fall. Oh, yeah. You, you have the forest. And parks. You, you have an abundance of parks, too, well, don't you? It, well, we do. We have, we have a ton of parks. But yeah. the one park we should talk about is Granite Knolls, ah. the Granite Knolls Sports Complex. State-of-the-art sports complex that officially really? opened at the end of last year. Now, where is that? So it's off of Stony Street. Oh, okay. Uh, so if you're coming down Route 6, you're going to make your left on the Stony Street, and it's up on the right. It's where the old Phoenix house used to be. Wow. And uh, the crown jewel when it comes to sports facilities. And wow. I know... I know here in, in Carmel, Mahopac, everyone's talking about Airport Park. Oh yeah! I think we oh already, yeah! I think we have a little bit of a leg up on you already. But this when is when I first this got is, here. 
it was still an airport. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we used to watch the little planes go by back and forth. Yep, yeah. Now, of course, there's still things flying by, but they're soccer balls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we've got this thing's got a full uh, baseball diamond, wow. two uh, multi purpose, uh, full multi purpose fields. You've got pickleball courts, handball courts, ten uh, no tennis courts yet. Um, uh, they've got trails. They've got a track around it. The whole bit. Isn't there a pool too? In we the have several. Now? Well, not there, but we have several pools oh, as well. Over by where the community center is, up the road. So we have, that's one junior pool, and we also wow. have um, Shrub Oak uh, oh. Pool off of Sunny uh, oh, wow. Shrub Oak Park off of Sunnyside. Yeah, I which keep is forgetting great. that you go all the way down. That yeah, way. yeah. We have got Lake Mahegan, which is a, a pet project of mine. We want to we want to revitalize all of our Lake lakes. Is a beautiful Lake park. Osceola. We're talking about possibly a boardwalk to walk around Lake Osceola, which right now looks like a green donut. Because well, we I got bad news for you, sir. What's that? We have about two minutes left. It goes fast when you're having it fun. Goes, that's <laughs> true. Uh, so, what do you want to tell these people? Besides, come to Yorktown. <laughs> right. Well, I want to say come to Yorktown, but just know that the future for Yorktown is is right in front of us. We're really on the cusp of greatness. And we have great, a great community, great people, and we just we welcome anyone to come into our town and see. Yeah, you don't have to it. live there to enjoy it, right? Not at all. Come visit. Come see what makes us great. And Mahantic Park has a beautiful, uh, or no, it's called FDR Park. FDR Park. But, but you can yeah, go play, I go back. But you can go play 18 holes at uh, Mohansic Golf really? Course, and soon wow. you'll be able to play nine holes at our par three. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of great things in New Yorktown yeah. to come check when out. When my kids were little, I used to take them over to what was then Mohansic Park and mm -hmm. now FDR Park. And giant pool. It's still there. Uh, it's a huge. A lot of place for fun. And the state's investing a ton of money. All right, well, I hate to do this to you folks, but it's that time. Uh, it's been great. You've done a great job. Thank you for having uh, me. I really appreciate, appreciate it. Yeah, yeah it's been yeah, great. I appreciate you coming here. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, congratulations on your election. Thank you. Uh, make everything happen. Uh, get out there, and you get out there. Get out to Yorktown, learn about its history, learn about its recreation sites, learn about why it is the community for your family. Awesome. Thank you.